talking about gain setting on amplifiers and why high voltage versus low voltage. So if you have a volume control, you've got basically zero and you have a max setting. What you want ideally is you want to set the amplifier to clip at about 75% volume. So what we'll do is we'll turn the volume up on the source unit with the test tone to about three quarters of the way. We'll start turning that gain control up until we see the light light up on the KX amplifiers. Or if you're using an oscilloscope, which you really need to do if you don't have that light, or like one of Steve Mead's uh, DD1. the yeah. DD1s, if you're not using one of those or a, a scope or the amplifier, you're not going to be able to tell when you get to clipping. But you want that amplifier to reach clipping here. The reason you do not want to turn the gain all the way up because that amp might reach clipping at this point in your volume control. So I don't get much adjustment before I get to clipping on the amplifier. If you have the gain on the amp all the way up or very high. So to give you an example, yeah. it's like everyone knows about driving a car. We all, I assume just about everybody out there has driven a car, they understand what an accelerator pedal does. Sure. Accelerator is a pedal that you push down to make the car go faster or let up to make it go slower. If you got two or three inches of travel, you got pretty good control over that car, don't you? You can drive at various speeds. But if you only have like a quarter of an inch of travel between idle and full throttle, you're probably going to crash, right? Or in our case, we're going to burn up the amplifier or the speakers because clipping really is the worst thing you can do to speakers. So ideally, you want to be able to turn your volume control up three quarters of the way to get the maximum output out of the amplifier without problems. Now, if you're doing multiple amplifiers setting gains, you want to do this with every amplifier independently. So if you're, test you're setting up one gain, shut the amplifiers off that you're not testing, then shut that one off and go to the next word, so forth and so on. Then you turn them all on together and then listen to it again. Turn it up at a listenable level and say, does it sound right? Well, no, I need to adjust. Say you've got a three-way system. You've got a subwoofer amp, you've got a mid-range amp, and a tweeter amp. It's like, well, you know, the mid-range just isn't quite loud enough. What you don't want to do is you don't want to go turn up the gain on the mid-range amplifier because the other two are going to clip sooner. You're going to damage either your tweeters or your subwoofers. What you want to do is you want to bring the other ones down. So if the tweeter amp is too low, you want to bring the other, or the mid-range amp is not loud enough. You want to bring the subwoofer and tweeter ramp down by turning the gain control down. So that's why it's really important to run a lot of voltage into the amplifier because the less the amplifier has to amplify the signal, the less it has to amplify any noise and any distortion.